pandemic, um, even though it kind of feels like yesterday. Um, but while people are still living through this pandemic, through COVID, a lot of people are actually taking uh, time and um, reflecting. That's right. And we all express our emotions about it differently. And Claudia is here in studio to share how some people are expressing how they feel about it uh, three years later. Yeah, so like a lot of people, I remember exactly where I was and what I was doing when I learned about the very first lockdown. I was actually at Grand Valley. I was a student. Um, and so many of us, like so many of us, I had no idea how to feel about it then. I still don't really know how to feel about it. But three years later, the Lansing Art Gallery, along with MSU's Art Gallery, are helping artists express how they felt then and how they feel now. Take a look. It is unifying in a way. We've been through a lot the past three years. From the pandemic to pushes for social justice, it's no wonder people have a lot to say. And some people aren't using words to say what's on their mind, at least not at the Lansing Art Gallery. And the show is called Creativity in the Time of COVID-19, Art for Equity and Social Justice. Um, it's really a show which is, you know, in five locations around Lansing, um, examining or inviting people to come and talk about or share their artwork, I guess, um, what their experiences were through COVID-19. We all want our voices to be heard. And some people are great at speaking. Others are great at performing or writing. But these pieces are the voices of artists. If you get to see all the art in all the different locations, you can really see the breadth of people's um, experiences. And the artwork is from all over the world. There's artwork from every continent. So that's also a very interesting um, look. The art doesn't just capture what the pandemic was, but how it impacted different people. We here have an artist from Missouri. Um, she's Indian born, Sukanya Mani, and she does paper cutting, which you can see here. Um, and she's examining survivors of domestic violence and women, and she's bringing attention to that, which um, domestic violence during the pandemic escalated and so she wanted to bring awareness to that. And although the artwork is from all over the world, one thing is very clear. The pandemic was hard on everyone. Some of the art is fun and it takes, you know, a comic view of it and some is very serious, some is very sad and introspective. Um, I think we all experienced a lot of emotions throughout the pandemic. It just kind of was also comforting that people around the world also had these feelings that we felt here, you know, at home. So it is unifying in a way. And the show at Lansing Art Gallery will be up through the end of the month. But if you want to go to the other four locations, you can find out more about where you can see them at WILX.com. All right. That's Thank right. you so Thank much, you, Claudia. Claudia. No, it's good to know and uh, definitely very important to check out and something to do like, you know, on those rainy, cold days, too. That's right around right. a sunny day when you're out, out, out and about. That's right. Which is coming up pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, but also coming up on Studio 10, we are going to start dancing here. It's Working Out <laughs> Wednesday. Nicole and I are learning some Latin dance moves this uh, afternoon. And there's our instructor, Angela, yes. who's right there. So make sure you put on your workout shoes with us, okay? Yes, definitely. And our from our feed question has us asking, what is one thing you're grateful for? There's still time to let us know what your response on our Facebook. Let's stay with us. Enjoying Studio 10? Give us your feedback by emailing us, studio10 at wilx.com. I don't remember how it started. Go to that. Our back and forth. It always came back. Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word.
Vista Grand Villa, your trusted partner in caring for seniors, is growing and investing in our community. We offer new simplified leasing, utilities, transportation, and a meal plan included. We have newly renovated apartments available. When you sign a lease on a one-bedroom petite apartment, now through April 30th, you get one month free. We offer great facilities, plus attentive, kind, and caring attention. Come visit Vista Grand Villa today. When medical conditions like heart disease, diabetes, back pain, or depression force you from work, and you're facing Social Security disability for the first time, you don't have to go it alone. It might be your first time, but Levine Benjamin has helped 50,000 people win disability benefits. From applying to appealing. We help you every step of the way. Call 517-200-3830. Levine Benjamin, there's no fee unless you win. Welcome to BetMGM Live Dealer. All your favorite casino games. Blackjack, poker, roulette, craps, and more. All on your phone, desktop, or tablet 24-7. Play with friends or make new ones at the table. Double down, Dave. Chat with players and live dealers like you're at the casino. Give me a 10. Yes! Now you're betting with the king of live dealer. Here. You brought all these players in your Buick? Yep, got three rows. So you. Where do I plug in? It's wireless. That's so you. What do I do with these? Careful, it's kind of busy. Oh, I got this with my superpowers. And a little help from your Buick. At the heart of every Buick SUV is you. GM employees with a current eligible Buick lease get this low mileage lease on this Buick Encore GX preferred all wheel drive for $199 per month. class a few weeks back at the YMCA and I had so much fun that I said I have to share this with you guys at home. So that's why today we are working it out this Wednesday and sweating it out with our Latin dance instructor. Angela, how are you? I am great and I'm so glad to be here. Yay! Awesome. We're so grateful that you're here. Yes, yeah, yeah. so definitely. We, we had a change. We, we got out of our, our outfits <laughs> so we can ready to sweat. sweat it out this <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Yes. Great. Yes. Let's go forward to it. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got started actually working as, a, as an instructor at the Y? So many years ago, I was showing up there at lunchtime uh -huh. all the time, and it got to the point where the instructors started having me co-instruct. The next thing you know, I was subbing for her, and it became a thing. The Y had some programs, um, women fitness programs that lasted all day. We started coordinating some things. Mm -hmm. So I went from the Y to Lansing Parks and Rec. I taught some classes back to the Y at my church. So I've just been into different types of fitness for almost 30 years now. That's awesome. great. Yeah. And the, the fitness that you're going to be teaching us today is dancing, uh, and particularly Latin dancing. So, mm -hmm. you know, why do you like to teach that? And what are the benefits of, you know, dancing uh, in terms of exercise? Okay, sure. So the bottom line is movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just enjoy moving. And the goal of Latin dance, um, aerobics, any type of aerobic movement that you do walking, it helps get your heart mm -hmm. in aerobic shape. Mm -hmm. And we want to get our hearts to the point where they're not working so hard to sustain us. Mm -hmm. So okay. dancing is a great motivator. All right. It's fun. Yeah. And All it's right. fun. It is yes. fun. <laughs> so why don't we get started? Yes. Why don't you show right. us a couple of moves? Okay. And if you guys are watching at home, okay. you can join us as get well, up. okay? Yep. Okay. So we're going to start with something really simple. Mm -hmm. We're going to just tap our toes. Just tap, tap, our, our, toes. tap our toes. Tap, tap our toes. toes. Tap, tap our toes. toes. Tap our toes. Okay. okay. All right. And then we're going to do a cha-cha. Okay. One, two, three. One, one two, three. three. One, one, two, three. 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 Okay. Okay. And we're going to put those together and then we'll add on a little rock to the side, side. Okay. and then taking it to the back, to okay. the back. back. Now take it to the left. It's forward, forward. side, and back. back. Okay. Then we're going to put those things together. Okay. So we're going to tap our toes. Tap, tap, 
toes. We're going to one, two, three. Cha-cha. One, two, three. three. Yep. You're going to get your cha-cha on. Cha -cha and then we're going to mambo with our hips. Ooh. To the side, side with our hips. Mambo. Okay. Take it to the back. To and the back, back with our hips. Mambo. Take it to the left. It's forward, forward. side, All right. and then back. Okay. 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 You All guys right. got this. I think we can deal with music last this time. Move. Oh, last oh, move. We're gonna just kidding. One, two, <laughs> we're gonna three. Mama, okay. One, two, three, three, four. And we're gonna bring it back oh. to the left. Okay. okay. All right, so we're going to put all those things together and make a routine, but we're going to slowly graduate. Okay, I think we I got, got ahead of myself. We got, <laughs> this. Okay. we got this. We got this. We got this. All right. We Let's got this. Started. All right, okay. some music. Okay. Some music? Okay. All right, let's tap those toes. Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Let's add that cha cha. Okay. Right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You got it. Back to those toe taps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cha, cha, cha. Tap those toes. And cha, cha, cha. All right, let's add that mambo. Okay. So, to the side. 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 And back. And back. back. Bring it to the front. Right. Oh, okay, still on the right. And side. side. And, and back. back. Two more times. Forward. Side. side. Back. One more on our right. Forward. Okay. Forward. Side. And back. back. Now take it to the left. Forward. Got to balance our body out. Side. Yes. And back. back. Forward. Side. You got this. And I'm back. I'm doing it in my head. Two more. Here you go. It's left forward to the side and take it to the back. Ooh. One more time. Forward. Side. Back. back. Right here. Okay. Right here. We're Some here. Cats? We're here. Yeah. Are you, are you sweating right, We're going to take it from the top with those toe taps. You ready? Four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Cha, cha, cha. Tap those toes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Go. Cha, cha, cha. Cha, cha. All right, let's add our mambo. OK. Right, side, back. Cha, cha. OK. Left side, oh, okay. left. Side, back, back. take that it to done. the right. Side, back, left side, from the side. top. Okay. Tap those toes. Here we go. All right. Four, okay. three, cha, Two. cha, cha. Mambo. Mambo. You got this. Oh, my All right. God. Right. To the left, to the left. <laughs> All right, so if people do want to take these classes, how can they sign up? They can see me at the Y. Okay. 6 a.m., Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right. Otherwise, you can email me at astepintowellness at gmail.com, uh -huh. and I'll be happy to get us connected. Ladies, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. All right. It's a great Thank working you. out Wednesday. All right. Well, Thank if you, you. want to keep sweating with us, Angel just gave us her information. But also coming up on Studio 10, we're headed to the MSU Science Festival to learn how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. So make sure you stay with us. Giving back to the community by making sure every girl has a prom dress for the special night. Learn more about what Potterville schools are doing for its students and how you can help out tonight on News 10 at 6. It's our lowest prices of the season at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Right now, shop unbeatable deals on the things you need for spring. Like assorted bags of Timberline mulch, four for 12 bucks. For rewards members, all Skechers footwear is buy one, get one half price. Save 20% on these Blaine's nut favorites. Plus, get a free $100 gift card when you buy this Husqvarna Hydro Lawn Tractor. Don't miss our lowest prices of the season in store or online at farmandfleet.com. 
I'm a rising star. Do you want to be a rising star? Enter at WILX.com. You can be in the news. From Mercantile Bank. Every rising star will be emailed a copy of their news feature. Send your photo in today. Let your curiosity take flight and join us at the MSU Science Festival April 1st through 30th. It's fun, educational, and free. Don't miss out on this celebration. There's something for everyone to enjoy. View the full schedule of events at sciencefestival.msu.edu. Over 1 million people in over 148 countries around the world follow me for stock market predictions. And I'm here today to give you the same warning I just gave them. You have 90 days to move your money. We're about to witness a historic stock market shakeup that could soon create devastating losses for investors who don't know what's coming. I spent 50 years on Wall Street. I've been on Fox Business and CNBC countless times. But this is a financial story no one else is telling you. I predict the U.S. stock market will look very different, almost unrecognizable, in just the next 90 days. I explain everything in my new warning posted on the website below, including the name and ticker of a popular stock that could be directly impacted by what's happening now. You want to avoid this stock immediately. Again, the website below is completely free to watch. I'm trying to reach as many people as possible before it's too late. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. We go through a lot every day and lose ceramides, my barrier needs, to seal in moisture. CeraVe facial moisturizers developed with dermatologists continuously deliver three essential ceramides to help restore my protective barrier so I can lock in moisture. With CeraVe, we can feel hydrated and look healthy all day. CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotions from the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. Get the first alert on severe weather with News 10. All right, welcome back into Studio 10. Yes, I'm a little sweaty from uh, working out <laughs> Wednesday, but uh, uh, Justin, how does it feel out there? Not, not, not too ready to sweat out there, though. Uh, not too bad, Nicole. It's a little cool today, but it is warming up a little bit. We're warmer than we were yesterday, continuing to follow that upward trend, but we've been mentioning that roller coaster ride of temperatures. Tomorrow is the top of the ride, and then we start going a little bit down as we head towards the weekend, uh, but we still get some pleasant weather in here, and we even see a little late-day sunshine start to creep through those clouds here. In fact, a live look outside in this first alert forecast showing you US-127 from that Meridian Company Skycam Network showcases mainly some thin clouds, but from time to time, the sunshine still managing to peek down through them. We're up to 55 degrees as well, courtesy of a south-southeast wind, which has been anywhere from about 5 to 10 miles per hour today. So 55 not too far off from our normal, despite being pretty chilly this morning. We had some frost, and of course we had those uh, warnings that were out last night. Some Most places waking up to temperatures in the 20s early today, with wind chills a little cooler than that. And uh, you were lucky if you were at 30 in places like Lansing and Howell. Our numbers, though, have rebounded, and cold water is now into the low 60s. Most other places are mid to upper 50s right now, and you can kind of see southwest corner of the state's opening up a little sooner as we get into some more of that mild air. It's in the mid-70s in Indy, 80s in uh, St. Louis. We're going to work some of this warm air you see off to our south and west in here by the time we get into tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow comes in as the warmest day in probably the next several, at least the next 10 days moving forward before we get that warmth back in here. Now, the numbers this evening and this afternoon really uh, still kind of going upwards. I think we gain another couple of degrees over these next few hours. Uh, we should top out pretty close to 60 degrees this evening before the sun goes down, and then those numbers will slide back this evening. But they really don't go too cool overnight staying in the 40s. In fact, satellite and radar is uh, trying to bring a little bit of rain into parts of Michigan. You see it's mainly north in our state right here. There are a couple of storms, including one real wicked one heading through Wisconsin right now. Uh, and we could catch a stray shower or storm as we head into the overnight. But we're also talking about the uh, changes we've got headed towards the end of this weekend, ultimately the weekend. We'll discuss that from out here on the weather patio later on Studio 10. Hi everyone, so clearly
spring is definitely in the air. The butterflies are out, and that's why I'm here with Jessica Wright at the MSU Science Festival. He's going to tell us a little bit about what we can expect here at the butterfly exhibit. How are you, Jessica? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's so exciting to be here with butterflies today. Exactly. Thanks for coming out. It is. Thank you. And of course, so this is the, one of the newest partnerships that you guys have with the MSU Science Festival. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we've, you know, the Butterfly House has been here for almost 25 years and the Science Festival is a perfect way for us to reach out to people in the community that may have never been to the butterflies. So it's a perfect partnership between the MSU Science Festival and butterflies just to have people know that we're here. Exactly. So now that people know that you are here, what can they expect to see when they arrive? So at the end of April, we are going to open up the Butterfly House to um, our MSU Science Festival festival partners. So the Butterfly House will of course be open. Um, we're also going to be planting butterfly gardens for people to take home and plant in their yard and hope that they might get some butterflies of their own. Awesome. Uh, we're going to have butterfly crafts. We're going to have some interactive science festival booths with some of our National Science Foundation partners. So yeah, we're really just want to have people get out and enjoy the garden. Awesome. And so what are some of the things that you want people to take away with them that they learn uh, when they get here to the butterfly garden? definitely want them to understand the importance of butterflies as pollinators. That's probably our number one goal here is to help people understand not only the butterflies, which are beautiful, but also understand all the stages of their life cycle and what we can do to help promote each and every one of those stages. So definitely, you know, learning more about butterflies and what we can do at home. And then also that science is fun, that you can come out and be outside and be in nature and experiencing science and not really ever even know it. And so we just want to kind of plant that seed of curiosity in people in our community. That's awesome. And I'm glad that people are able to take those butterflies home with them and they can plant that seed of knowledge and that butterfly garden in their own backyards too as well. So Jessica, this is just the beginning of a whole series that the butterfly garden is going to be hosting this summer. Can you tell us more about that too? Yeah, so our summer fun series starts with Butterfly Day at the end of April. And then we actually switch to being out in the outdoor 4-H children's garden. And we have a variety of different activities for people to come out and have fun in the garden. So we'll have a pirate and pixie garden party. We'll have a digger day, which we partner with MSU infrastructure and planning. We have a bubble day and a water day. And it's our 30th birthday this year. So of course, we're gonna have a garden birthday party. Jessica, this garden was too beautiful to not explore, but I want you to show me a little bit about what people are going to see when they come here. So one of the really exciting parts of the butterfly exhibit is that we get to watch the butterflies being born. And so this is our chrysalis cage. And the butterflies are actually sent to us in their chrysalis or pupa stage. Mm -hmm. And they are sent to us from a farm in Florida. They come in the mail, which is really kind of fun. Um, and then we hang them up here in this glass cage so we can watch them emerge. So we have lots of different butterflies coming out right now. Uh, all the butterflies that we have are um, North American natives. So we have things like peacocks and buckeyes. This is a Michigan butterfly. Um, this is a, a southern white or in Michigan we call it the common cabbage. Wow. So it's just a really, this is one of my favorite parts about uh, the butterfly house is being able to help people see how amazing butterflies are and the different stages of their life cycle. So it's really, really great. So these are southern white caterpillar's eggs and this is, oh, wow. this is kale. So in just another couple of days, these will be caterpillars and they'll be munching on all of these. Jessica, this is so exciting and this is so great that you guys are able to partner for the first time with the MSU Science Festival. If you want more information as to how you can visit the butterfly exhibit, you can head on over to our website, wilx.com slash Studio 10. All right, well, coming up on Studio 10, the MSU Science Festival. Uh, and now, that was the Science Festival. Now we're heading on over to Stoop Fest, so we're learning more about the upcoming uh, festival that's happening right here in Lansing, but I'll also tell you how you can get there. Stay with us. The Tropic Blast is at Big B Coffee. Blast into delicious sweet and sour pineapple and bouncing strawberry boba. Iced or frozen, fuel your next adventure. An energy drink like no other. The Tropic Blast from Big B is a refreshing burst of flavor. Hi, I'm Danica Patrick, and here's a great offer from Champion Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram of Lansing. Just announced for Champion Lansing buyers, new Jeep Compass, $279, $279 a month. It's a limited time offer, so race in now. New Grand Cherokee or Ram Crew Cab, your choice, $2.99 a month during the Jeep Celebration event. At Champion Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram of Lansing, 
you always finish first. Log on championrocks.com. Modernistic, simple and quick. We'll clean your carpet and upholstery. Modernistic, simple and quick. With professional staff. Friendly service, we'll, we'll treat, treat you like family. <laughs> Modernistic, simple and quick. We're the first with experience and quality. Modernistic. Celebrating 50 years of simple and quick. See specials and schedule at modernistic.com. Best thing I've ever done. That's what Freddie told me. It was the best thing 